Hello, my friends. Are you ready for the next case, the third and final case of The Frog Detective? We played The Haunted Island. We played the case of The Invisible Wizard. And now it's time for corruption at Cowboy County. I hope that it gives us a full introduction because at the end of the case of the Invisible Wizard, it gave us a pretty good introduction. So I hope it gives us, I hope it doesn't just pick up from there. We'll see. Also, Bill said he saw somebody, he saw like a character that popped up in here. We don't know if it's in this one too, but in this one, and he couldn't show, he couldn't find it. We didn't find it, but I have now seen it and I will show you that right here. Okay, so Bill looked on my last frog detective video and we found the guy he said there was. It's this right here. See that little guy right there? We think that's the little guy right there. He thinks that's who took my notebook at the end of the last video. So we'll see. I don't know. Let's go play it. So I don't know. That might be the guy who took my notebook. We'll just see. But right now, let's go check out the corruption at Cowboy County. Here we go. <gasps> oh, look how cool it is. Oh, that's right. Our supervisor said Lobster Cop was going to come with us. Another new color scheme. Very fun. Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. Oh, my goodness. I'm so ready for this. Let's go. That's not my little frog. Am I going to get the tumbleweeds instead of the frog? Tumbleweeds don't, don't go. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's Mary. Hey, it's Mary. Remember me? I do remember you, Mary. I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. Excellent. After the detective, that's you, solved the case of the Invisible Wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. Hi, supervisor. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. This is really a fun way to do the recap. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> she extorted me in the last one to get money so she could go to Froggywood. Okay, are you ready? Let's see what she does. Oh my gosh. Okay, this just shows you again how to use the controls in case um, in case you haven't done this before. Interact using A. There we go. <laughs> frog detective, maybe. Oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the frog detective. Oh, the detective frog, is that what it said? Hey, gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know, it's so hard to describe our professional relationship, but you're like a helper of sorts? Yes, exactly, like a manager almost, yeah. Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes, <laughs> it's my job to solve mysteries. <laughs> Obviously, I was being dramatic. Oh my gosh, this is the best recap ever. Classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Aw, boo. <laughs> I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there, and it'll take you on a little trip. Cute. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love. Later. <laughs> she is a good actress. Okay, um, so can I get my notebook? I can't take the notebook this time. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Why can't I take the notebook? Okay, well, let's get the magnifying glass. I really liked having the notebook. Okay, we got the magnifying glass. Sick, now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. <laughs> oh, got your magnifying glass. Okay, look through your magnifier with ZR. Okay, I realized last time that I really don't ever use the magnifying glass. Ooh. Again, in case you're new here, this has the whole drive and um, adjust the camera at the same time, and I don't actually know how to do this because <laughs> I don't play video games except for Animal Crossing. I'm just seeing if I can grab it now. 
No, okay, I guess we're just going to the train station. So I will try not to make you dizzy, but the whole turning and moving thing is very difficult for me. Okay, so the detective heads to the train station and it's also cool, like there's a new color scheme and stuff, I know! But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook, right? See that looks like maybe the hand of that guy. I think Bill might be right. I didn't check and see what color the guy was wearing. Let me just tell you a little something about being colorblind. Now I'm not as colorblind as a lot of people. I don't struggle as much as a lot of people. I can differentiate a lot of colors, but because I'm colorblind, I don't really notice them, right? Like I played that frog refuge game. I know this doesn't have anything to do with anything. So if you're just here to watch this, I'm sorry if frog detectives all you're watching, but you get to listen to this. So Bill was like, you had three new frogs. And I said, I, I know that in retrospect, but they changed color and I didn't notice. So I don't know. I think that hand is wearing a blue shirt. It's something in the blue family. And I didn't look because I don't look at stuff like that. So if you ever wonder, why didn't she notice that? It's probably has something to do with the color. Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. That's crazy. It's so messed up. It is messed up. Nobody would ever take anything on a train. That's a whole story with my husband. We may talk about that. Oh, it's an issue. Actual tears in my eyes. Seriously. Oh, that's so sweet, Mary. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. <gasps> oh. So you're actually up to date now. Thank you, Mary. You are such a great actress. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. <laughs> you're so funny. Oh, there he is. Do, 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 do. He looks like he's wearing spats on his shoes. I'll have to pay attention. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. And they're gonna look so good with Lobster Cop, right? Um, oh, maybe they're just high tops. They're probably just high tops. Okay, that little worm looks like the worm from Sesame Street, Oscar's friend worm. Wormy? I don't know, something like that. Um, oh, I'm supposed to go somewhere? <laughs> I'm just standing here waiting for something to happen. Okay, oh, there's a phone. There's a phone somewhere. Oh, over here. Is it our supervisor? This is so cool. <laughs> hey, that table that it's on looks like a table from Animal Crossing. I'm just saying. I'm totally going to put a, a table like this with a phone like that in my next Animal Crossing house. Just as a little ode to Frog Detective. Hello, this is Frog Detective from Pro Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one, right? I think it's the supervisor. Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. Yes, I am. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. <laughs> Someone may be listening. Then why did you call me? What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Probably not on these old landline phones like you guys are using. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Ugh. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. Okay. As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. I've ordered something special from Wizbay to help you get around. I'm excited. Oh, is it a horse? What? No. <laughs> It would be cool if it was a horse. <coughs> Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. <laughs> it would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. I guess in this game that's true because the animals are all sentient. 
Right. Sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What did you order then? A scooter, of course. Yeah. I've been out in the desert many times, dude. A scooter? Not going to be as useful as you think. Sick. It should be near the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Oh no, this sounds like control practice for me. Oh, gall. Lobster Cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you have fun too. I will. All right, see ya. Okay, here we go. Look how cute that is. Wonder if I could build a little phone booth kind of like that too in my house. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so oops, this way and down. Um, I gotta get to it. Okay, okay, interact. My very own scooter is sick. Got a scooter. Okay. Uh, am I on the scooter then? Hop. Oh, hop on with X. That's this button. I, but it, oh! <laughs> Jump. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope I can figure out how to use this properly. Because can I go over the fence? I mean, I don't need to because there's an opening. But oh my gosh, I hope I can figure out how to do that. Because that's super cool. And X, I don't want to hop off. Why? Oh my gosh, it's so fast. <laughs> Okay, the camera is following me. That's awesome. I don't have to do the camera at the same time. I'm so glad because there is just, I, I don't think there's any way I could do that. This is, this makes the game so much better for me. The, the camera's controlling it. Okay, should we try and jump the fence and see what happens? Oh, <gasps> we jumped the fence. That's so cool. Okay, now this, it's, he said follow the path. But that looks like a train track. Oh, that's how I got here. So that's got to be the path over here, right? That's the path. We're going to go this way. Oh my gosh. The camera following me is awesome. I guess we figured it out because... <gasps> Super Hot presents a game by Worm Club. <laughs> With assistance from Vic Screen. Look at me ride. And soundtrack by Dan Golding. Good job, Dan! Ooh, look at those hills. It's a great path in the desert. Starring Lobster Cup. See, he looks great in this setting. Susie Rabbit, she's so cute! Sherman and the Bandits. Oh my gosh, I love that! <laughs> Frog Detective! <laughs> Plus a special guest, it is him! Bill, you were right, it is him! Cause that looks just like him. I think it's funny that Lobster Cop is the star and not Frog Detective. I'm probably gonna say it over and over, but this color scheme, it's just so beautiful. Okay, oh my gosh. Frog Detective 3, corruption at Cowboy County. Nice. Okay, I did turn the game sounds down a little. It sounds kind of loud in my head. I hope it's not super loud. That would be very sad if you can't hear me. I wish I could stop and check it, but that's very complicated for me. Okay, um, do you think I just go down? Where's the, where's the path down? Um, that way, okay, here we go. And then we're gonna turn. Ooh, try not to crash. Okay, okay, ooh, look at me go. Oh, it's Lobster Cop. <laughs> it's like we're gonna have a showdown. <laughs> we're not, because we're working together. Hey, Lobster Cop, I'm here to help solve the mystery. Right on time, detective. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. So am I. Is that so? Nope. <laughs> Tell me about the case, Lobster Cop. I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the sheriffless county. You look like you should be a sheriff, Lobster Cop. Oh, I guess you are a cop, huh? 
Oh, this town was thriving, detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff. Yeah, I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I'll try. I'm really bad at interrupting. I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So anyway, I've lost where I was going with this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. You're such my kind of guy. I lose where I'm going with it all the time. You said there was something missing. Right, there was something missing. A sheriff. The town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor and he contacted me and me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm going to be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate the hiring for a management position. Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I'd need your help? Oh, wow, snotty. Oh, look at the tumbleweed in the back. I love it. No, me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. The position has been filled, what? Oh, I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting um, <laughs> the new sheriff of Cowboy County. The barrel? Oh, <gasps> it's him. It's him! I don't want to go yet. Sheriff Mason Mole. Oh my gosh. That is him. Bill, you found him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No! No. Oh, Sheriff Mason Mole. He's probably quiet, don't you think? No. Hmm. No, you cannot. Oh, the <laughs> tumbleweed hit him. <laughs> is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Okay. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. That is a mystery. Not all hats. Yeah, you're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Okay, if you're not loving these tumbleweeds that are going through the town that are just big scribbles, then that's sad for you. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. <laughs> well, you heard the sheriff. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here's your notebook. He had my notebook. I'm sorry. Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Got a notebook. <clears throat> I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry, it hit him too. Don't worry about it. Now, detective, as I'm lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, dude, I will try. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. <laughs> right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? And why do you keep stretching your arms, weirdo? I'm sorry, that was unkind. Maybe it's just something you need to do. I apologize. I shouldn't... I, okay, still though. <laughs> hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and method. Okay. Crime scene and method. Okay. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. Well, thank you for taking pity on me. <laughs> All you'll need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue. Okay, wait. Map, tool, key, make the key, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. I'm betting that's you. Okay, so make the key messy. 
mad, uh, map, tool, key, and the mail. Make the key, make the key messy. Okay, that'll help me remember. It's probably in my notebook. I don't know why I'm doing it. Uh, meal? Yes, detective, keep up. I'm a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches that I was saving for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure you get to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. I won't need to because I memorized it. Um, make the key messy. Map, tool, key, meal. See, I got it. Will do. Good luck, Lobster Cop. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. <laughs> Open your notebook with Y. Okay, I just want to look at everything. Look, it's, is it Susie? Susie Rabbit? It's somebody rabbit. There's my notebook. Case three, mystery of the missing hats. Okay, it's not gonna write anything else? Oh, okay, gotta click. <clears throat> lobster cop, motive? There's no possible motive for lobster cop to do this. Needs, crime scene map, criminal tool, key, and meal. See, I thought it would probably be there. <clears throat> Notes, hey, it's lobster cop, number one best detective. I'm very jealous, so tall. You're right. Is there anything else? Um, nope. Okay, well, we're done then. Okay, so we gotta find the map, a tool. Um, look, there's another little bug. Got bug everywhere, except the other ones were purple, right? The last one was purple. Are they all different based on where we are? Cause that doesn't look purple. Yeah, that one. Where you going, little bug? I know he's not part of the story. I follow him every time for at least a little bit. Oh, there's Sheriff Mole. Okay, let's talk to the rabbit in her little cowboy outfit. Look, she got boots. It is Susie. Hey, you. Me. Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Maybe. Um, It depends on the favor. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I, you're the best, thanks. I need you to help me break into this bank. <laughs> oh, just a little favor then. Uh, I will not, huh? Dude, you already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. Susie Rabbit, you're a little, you're a little presumptuous there. I didn't agree to the favor. Oh, so now you're changing your story, changing the story? Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Wow. <laughs> wow, she shunned us. Look at that little hip pop too. Um, should we talk to her again? Let's talk to her again, see what happens. Excuse me, Susie Rabbit. Ooh, she does not want to talk to you. Hello? <laughs> what? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the flake. Oh my gosh. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. <laughs> I'm going to have to break in on my own now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vaults. Oh. So you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help? Typical. I just mean, breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that's vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Ah, so you'll help me. Hmm. I really shouldn't. Yeah, last time you lied, and now this time you're gonna break into a bank? I don't like th what this is doing to our morals, little detective. What kind of evidence? 
<clears throat> it's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. You need the map. I found it this morning right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on the top that said, crime map. Eat after reading. I don't want to eat a map. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? Okay, the vault, the map. Let's ask about the vault first. So let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vaults. Oh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? <laughs> what? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah, but there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Are you kidding me? Is, is that against the rules? What rules? <laughs> the bank rules? It's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? No. Suit yourself. Well, <sighs> there's a little standoff going on. Theoretically, if I were to help, yes. Thank you, detective. I'll wait right here. I, uh, wow. Okay. Mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me about the map. About that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's where Lobster Cup is. Oh, that's helpful. Eh, yeah, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guide to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. I've done haunted. It wasn't actually haunted. It was just dance practice. It's haunted. <clears throat> That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. That sound like a good deal? I'll do my best. Mind if I ask you some questions? Okay, I'm done. Okay, a fake ID. Really? <laughs> Susie. Motive. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. Needs fake ID. Yikes. Notes, short stature, shorter temper, ethical criminal, not a big believer in rules. Yeah, she's a suspect. Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> she didn't really acknowledge that there even were rules. Okay, what happens if we go over to the vault? Can we interact with it? No. Okay. So we need to make, we need to get a fake ID. Let's see what's in here. What's in this shop? Okay. Look, it's more worms and like a cow person. Oh, it's a post office, it looks like. Is it like a, it's like a UPS thing or, or USPS thing? I don't know. It's a post office of some sort. Craig, if you're here from the evil secret society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. Well, I'm not. What's the evil secret society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh yeah? Where are your credentials? Uh, well, I'm a detective and a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. <clears throat> Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. You go, dude. You hold your standards. That little worm is blinking at us and watching us. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. <laughs> oh my gosh. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public if you ask me. That's a good point. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. 
Oh, wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh? The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they've never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Let me just say, ghost spotter is kind of tough to say. <clears throat> well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the league, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any? Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. <laughs> Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. <clears throat> so, no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry, no, I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants information from me. Uh, okay, I didn't really want to learn about those, but I'm sure there's information that's important to solving the case. The Ghost Spotters League. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. Oh, I keep seeing that cool bug. See? Even he thinks bugs are cool. How does it work then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Oh, we need to take a photo of a ghost, okay? <clears throat> Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict. If I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. Dude, what did you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast, so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. Oh my gosh. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has a ghost in it? Maybe. I don't want to mess it up for you. I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be part of the society. So you just need a photo. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure. If I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. Okay, tell me about more secret societies. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats. Uh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, detective. These societies run deep. I've barely scratched, scratched the surface of what there is to know. That's true. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been, anything you've ever done, it's all dictated by the secret societies. Okay. Surely that can't be true. <clears throat> You'd think not, but it's true. <laughs> How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Okay. I'm trying to honor your beliefs, but it sounds like you might be a conspiracy theorist. Is it a secret forum? What? Ha, ah, like, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Oh my gosh. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh yeah? What evidence do you have that it's not true? None, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more like a lack of evidence of it not being true. Um... Agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right and you agree to be wrong. <laughs> I think agree to disagree is in all three of them. Okay, sure. Uh, we're done. I'm done talking to you. What's the blue thing in the window? I mean, behind me in the door. Okay, Craig. I'm going to mark you as a suspect. Motive. <clears throat> Wanted membership to the secret hat stealing society. Needs definite proof of a ghost. Either a conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy my detective disguise. Drat. Just wants to be part of something. Okay, suspect is A. Got it. Okay. Let's go see what else we have. We can't talk to any of the worms, right? Okay, okay. Anything else light up in here? No. Okay. 
So what was, there was something blue. Is there a flag? Oh, I think it was that flag. It was a flag. Okay, so we talked to her and she's at the bank. That looks like it might be a saloon, right? Next to us, is that a saloon? Um, mm, I don't think that's a saloon. Oh, is that a saloon? It looks like it might be like a mercantile, like a store. Who, you're like a little bear, huh? Are you a little bear? Uh, I can't interact with you, really? Oh, there we go, I just had to get a lot closer. Just a minute, I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah, see, this looks like a mercantile. I think it's a shop. But look how cool those are. I love that guy with the mustache. Looks very Wilford Brimley. That is a Wilford Brimley mustache for sure. That's you, little guy. Oh, carrots. Okay, I'm going to talk to you first before I just take your carrots because I don't even know what I need them for yet. It's Wendy. I'm sorry I called you a little guy. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. Okay. I don't need anything. Oh. Um, please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you will find what you need. No, thank you. Wow. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no cost, no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It's one of our main, many great policies, such as, we're proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will be either satisfied or dissatisfied <laughs> with your purchase. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. You know, she's right. So I can get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. This is the worst satisfaction guarantee ever. If your feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. That clears it up. Thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I am not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I am here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. That's what I was thinking, dude. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in the future, just tell people what you're here for. Yes, absolutely right. I am not good at communicating quickly. Okay. I get easily swept up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. You did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ha, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Okay. Can I ask you some questions? Uh, new job. Like, who did it before you? So you just started running the shop. How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but it honestly doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been, but it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? Do you see those portraits on the wall? I think she's going to want her picture up there. They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those. Okay, so we, now we got to get a portrait. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. I wish, but I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Why can't they see him? Why can't they see her? Hmm. 
Here, take the, oh, here, take this photo of me. Ha, okay, kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter, painter who can paint you a portrait? I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Got a photo. Oh, frog detective. Can I ask you some questions? Um, no, not right now. Okay, I want to know what's going on with those carrots, though. I have a bear pick. Okay. Um, is it going to go further? Okay, there we go. Wendy. You're going to be a suspect too, Wendy. Motive. Steal the hats and sell them back to the town. Perfect crime. Needs her portrait. Notes. Seven months in the biz. Rehearsed and formal, yet professional and warm. I'm now carrying around a photo of her and nobody thinks that's weird, especially not me. <laughs> okay, suspect. Let's see what happens when we click on the carrots. I'm guessing she's going to say, um, do you want to buy those and you don't have any money? Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? Uh, no. Then you cannot buy these, buy these carrots. Okay, so... What if I click on them again? Is it going to do it again? Okay. So I need to go get some money. I mean, if I want the carrots. I'm, I imagine since I can interact with them, I'm going to need the carrots for something. Okay. Nothing else. Look, there's a lucky horseshoe. And if you didn't know, you always put the horseshoe up so the luck doesn't run out. That's just, you know, that's how you do it. Okay. So he looks like a bandit. He's one of the bad guys. Do we want to talk to him? There's a map. I wonder if that's the map. Okay, probably not. But let's see. He's at the graveyard. Um, oh, there's an artist. Is he in the saloon? There are saloon doors. I think he's in the saloon. Okay, okay. I miss the map doing it by itself. Okay, you look like a painter. And you have a star on your belt. Were you the sheriff? Pistol? What a great name. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour, maybe the frog of one and a half hours if we're being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. Look at the worm playing the piano. I don't know how, but playing the piano, that's awesome. Ah, oh, well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me, finest artist in all of Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I would love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep up, keep saving up and you will be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's an, uh, well, you see, it's clearly a, who am I getting, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. <laughs> you were right to click it. He was? When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. I hate cursed websites. That's awful. Ever since then, I've lost my artistic talents. I think you might be giving this curse more power than you, than it really has. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Oh, I have a photo for you, buddy. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. 
the curse? Tell me about that and then I'm going to talk to you about the muse. Can you tell me more about the curse from that website you visited? I don't know what more there is to say. I wanted to see a video of a buff worm and I was tricked, fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the bright side, I clicked on a banner that said I was the 1,000th visitor and I won 100,000 money. What? Really? <clears throat> yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my banking information and I gave it to them. Oh my gosh. Don't ever just click on random things and don't give anybody your banking information. You did what? Relax, how else was I gonna get my prize money? That seems really dangerous. <sighs> You're just jealous because I won 100,000 money. Oh, Pistol, it's already there in my bank account. Really, you checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Well, you are adorable. Wow, I'm sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Please don't. Sounds like a plan. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Okay, here we go. Go ahead. A muse? You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me. Dude! Dude, you have a photo of the person who wants a photo, a portrait. Oh, it's, it's the, it's, uh, it's Wendy. I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. Hmm. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, it would be very grateful. Oh, I would be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat every time? No comment. <coughs> Your head is a weird shape. I know this. I'll get to work finding a photograph. You have a photograph. Finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. Thank you. Give the item the bear picture. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow, this is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. All right, look at us going strong. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. It seems like it was probably a prank. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. I don't think you're being honest. Right. I must be mistaken. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. I think you're gaslighting him. So, will this work as your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right there. I'm going to paint it immediately. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, she looks adorable. And voila. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. I'm so proud of it. What are you going to do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. He's not even going to charge me millions of money. Really? Yeah, or throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along, just like Dumbo and his ability to fly. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a portrait. Oh, Got one done. That's so exciting. Okay. Oh, I don't have the picture anymore? Okay. I hope she doesn't want it back. Pistol. Motive? Maybe hats are hard to paint. <laughs> Needs a muse and some internet safety lessons. Notes. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Cursed, allegedly. Always give, always give your banking information to anyone who asks for it. Not true. Do not do that. That's bad. That's a bad choice. Don't do that. Oh, I forgot to mark him as a suspect. Let's mark him as a suspect. Um, this way. There we go. I gotta find him again. Oh, did I mark Lobster Cup? I don't think I did, but he's marked. Hmm, my notebook is suspicious. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's go see Wendy. 
Uh, I got a reminder now. Look at me driving so well. Uh, Wendy was where? That's the rabbit, and that's not Wendy. Wen oh, Wendy was the bear in the mercantile. Okay, let's go see Wendy. Hey, Wendy, I have something for you. Are you ready? Look what I got. You're going to be so excited. I don't know what you're going to give me. I forgot. Can I ask you some questions? Maybe you'll give me the carrots. Here's the portrait for you. Oh, maybe he can have that as part of the meal. Oh, so you're not going to believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that about me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Awesome. Oh, look how cute. Wow, it's great. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, Detective. It was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Maybe the carrots? Oh, I know. A ladder? Take, oh, is that the tool? That could be a tool for robbery. Take this ladder, okay. Oh, a whole ladder? That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. Yeah, because it's a game, so it's just kind of magically in your pockets. If you say so, thanks. Got a ladder. Look, you can't even tell. Okay, so, oop, there we go. I want to go ride my scooter some more. I wonder if I can, I don't know how I'm ever going to do that. Okay, let's see. Um, her needs are taken care of, and that's all. Okay, so let's see. We have a ladder, and I, can I get the carrots now, or is she still going to ask me for money? Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? No, I thought maybe she'd give it to me because I did something nice. Okay. Okay. I'm sure those are going to be part of the meal that I got to get. Um, should we go talk to... We haven't talked to the mole. Let's talk to the sheriff. Let's go to the sheriff mole place. Look, it's his flag. They're flags of him. That's pretty fun, Mr. Mole. Okay. I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. Forward. I was doing so well. Oh my goodness. I gotta look at the wall first, Sheriff Mole. They're all suspects. Okay. Um, okay, those, that bandit, bandit, bandit. And I think those people are nice, but I'm not sure. So I think the, um, the koala and the sloth and the mouse. I think those are all the bandits. And I think the other ones are probably nice, I think. There's a curtain there and a cabinet. I wonder if any of those are going to be important. Um, gloves? Oh, I could take the gloves. I'm going to talk to you first. And then I'll look at the gloves. Because those could be used for crime, too. Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job? Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm. Strange. You must have a familiar face. No. <laughs> ha, you're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. He was in the last game. I don't know if he was in the one before that, but he was in the last game. Maybe you saw him. Yes. <laughs> so how did you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. <laughs> you have very short answers, detective, like when my dad texts me back. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you. Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became the sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. <laughs> what was it? I helped. Dude, helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> there I go again, being nosy. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, okay. See ya. Okay. Um, 
Sheriff Mole, you're 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 a little odd. You're endearing, but a little odd. Motive. Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. Notes. A fellow a few words. Previous job. Helped out. Okay, he's a suspect. I'm just saying, you're a suspect, buddy. Okay, we're going to go look at the gloves and see. I don't know if we can just take them, because, you know, I'm sure he'll tell me something he needs. Ooh, these could come in handy. Ha! Get it? Handy? Gloves? Yes, I do. Excuse me? Yes, Sheriff? Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. <laughs> oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Oh, that's clever. Cool. Got some gloves. Okay, do we have time to do one more? We're almost at an hour. I think, I think, I think we're gonna stop here. Um, I know there's so much more going on. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop here, and then, um, and then we'll come back soon. Maybe I'll record it later today so we can finish this one up. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I hope you're having fun, and you can just watch that little tumbleweed because it's amazing. Don't you just, don't you just want to be around tumbleweeds? Here's my question for today. Have you ever seen a tumbleweed in real life? I have. <laughs> and they don't they don't look like that, but they do tumble. Actually, there's our bug again. Okay, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. We'll be doing the rest of this case and then just a bunch of other stuff, mostly Animal Crossing, although right now I'm going through this weird try things one time kind of thing. So, you know, there have been some other things or are going to be some other things, but mostly Animal Crossing. Okay, I will talk to you later. Bye!